What would you do if you were in the belly of a great fish? Good question, huh? Let's talk about that. Yeah. Good morning, beautiful people. It is Wednesday. It is raining like cats and dogs out there. Anyway, uh, this is Charlie Chaplin, uh, not a sponsor, but great comedian. So if, uh, if say you were running away from God and you got on a boat and the boat started, you know, tittering and tottering and there was a storm and you were sleeping below deck. And everybody else was panicking and crying and throwing stuff overboard. And you were just sleeping. Now, if you were one of the passengers, you would question why you're sleeping. And if you were one that was sleeping, it's because you know what's happening. And so Jonah was in the bottom of the ship sleeping and everybody else was crazy and running around trying to figure out why this storm is happening. Well, he wakes up and he says, it's because of me. I've disobeyed God. I've tried to run away from him. And he's like, the only way to calm the storm is to throw me overboard. Just throw me. And the guy's like, no, I'm not going to throw you. And he finally convinced him to throw him overboard. When he, when he hit the water, the storm stopped. Everything was fine and dandy. But Jonah himself was saved by God providing a great fish to swallow him. Now think about this, a great fish. Now, first of all, God can do anything he wants. So he could have performed a miracle and made a great fish right then and there. And then when Jonah came out of it, it disappeared. Or it could have been a whale, or it could have been anything that resembled a fish. But it doesn't say whale in there. It says great fish. We always think of Jonah and the whale. It wasn't a whale. Because God can do whatever he wants. So he made a great fish to swallow Jonah. And so what would you do if you were in the belly of a great fish? Well, I don't know. Would you complain? Would you think this is really cool? Would you sleep? Would you be panicked? Well, Jonah did one thing for three days. It's interesting that he was in the belly of the fish for three days. I wonder what else somebody was in the belly of the earth for three days. Interesting. So, Jonah, in Jonah chapter 2, verse 1, he says this, Then Jonah prayed to the Lord his God from the stomach of the fish. Now remember, Jonah was trying to run away from God. Jonah did not want to go to his enemies to, to prophesy. Jonah didn't want to have anything to do with what God wanted him to do. And yet when he was in an emergency, when he was in a, a belly of a great fish, then he wanted something to do with God when there was an emergency. Now, I'm not saying that emergency prayers aren't answered or, you know, prayers that um, you're in this deepest, darkest place in your life that God can't answer. But it's what you do after that prayer is answered in your deepest, darkest time. A lot of people would say, oh, okay, good. I'll just go back to the way I was. Or they get that prayer answered and they get out of it and then they praise God for it. Well, we'll see. Maybe tomorrow or or, or, or uh, Friday um, what Jonah did after he got out of the belly of, of the great fish. But it's interesting. The first thing he did was pray. He acknowledged God that he you know, saved him. He saved him in a weird way, but he saved him. And we'll talk about his prayer tomorrow, but it's interesting. What would you do? So my challenge for you today is what do you do when you have an emergency, when you are in the deepest, darkest part of your life? Do you complain? Do you not worry about it? Do you cry out and curse at God? Or do you pray? What do you really do in the confines of nobody watching you. Hopefully, I encourage you to pray and then follow God even closer when it's answered. I love you. Jesus loves you too. You have a great, 
Wednesday. Bye-bye.